Aussians, I'm the Louisiana Quadling, and welcome to my channel. We are back in my Oz library today to discuss, you guessed it, a new Oz book. Now, if you are a fan of Oz, just like me, make sure to click that little red OZ at the bottom of the screen and subscribe for more Oz content. So, get your coffee mugs ready, get your feet up, relax. As we enjoy this new coffee table book, The Wonderful Wizards of Art, an illustrated odyssey through the land of Oz. This book was designed by Daniel Munch Kinski. It is a limited edition of 515 copies worldwide and retails for 90 US dollars. The book is still available from wizardofart.com. So if you want to pick up a copy for yourself, I left a link in the description. The cover is bound in emerald green. The front and back covers feature this art deco frame with different artwork in the middle. The front features this Norman Rockwell painting of Judy Garland as Dorothy, with some of Evelyn Kopelman's illustrations around her. And Evelyn Kopelman illustrated the 1944 edition of The Wizard of Oz. If you're interested in learning more about Evelyn Kopelman and that edition, I've actually covered that on my channel previously. And these books are numbered. The bottom here shows the number out of 515 that you received. Mine is number 464. I'm sure you've noticed by now that this is a really large oversized book. I mean, it's a real heifer if you ask me. It's a whopping 17 inches tall, and it's definitely not going to fit in either of my Barrister bookcases anytime soon. And this obviously promotes the fact that this book should be displayed, and I totally get that if I had a coffee table. What? Don't look at me like that. Not everybody is as bougie as you. This book features photographs and artwork from L. Frank Baum and W. W. Dinslow building up to the release of the 1939 MGM film. If you're looking for a book that covers the history of this time, this is definitely not that book. This book is much more interested in giving you a pictorial history of this time than giving you lots and lots of written text. The only real lengthy bit written in the book is the introduction written by Karen Marsh Dahl, Judy Garland's stand-in for The Wizard of Oz. And Karen is now 102 years old. She writes briefly about her upbringing in California and her career. The thing that I really enjoyed reading the most was about her relationship with Judy Garland. And it was actually her younger sister, whose name is Dorothy. Yeah, I know, you literally can't make this stuff up. Was friends with Judy in high school because they went to the same school. Each of the books are signed by Karen Marstall and the book designer Daniel Kinski. They've even supplied some acid-free parchment to make sure Daniel's signature does not stain the opposite page. And I'm going to keep that right there, yeah. Getting back to the artwork, this is definitely the reason why you want to purchase this book. There were numerous photographs and images that I have never seen before reproduced in any other book. And the photographs that I found really intriguing were the ones of particular places and shows that we can't experience today for ourselves. The first of these is L. Frank Baum's California home, Ozcott. This house was torn down after Maud's death, making these photographs the only way we can experience what it was like to see how Frank lived. The same can be said for the early stage plays, The Wizard of Oz and The TikTok Man of Oz. The book features photographs, posters, and original costume designs. No recordings were ever done of these early Oz plays, making some elements of these shows lost to time. It's great to see them represented here with a lot of fanfare. 
there's even some photographs from L. Frank Baum's Oz Film Manufacturing Company that I had never seen before. It's crazy to think that after a hundred years, there are still photographs that have never been published that are now available in this book. So, should you get this book? Yes. Is the book pricey? Yes. Now, if you are living inside the continental United States, they are offering free shipping on this book. If you live outside of the continental United States, you'll have to pay for shipping. And since the book is um, large, it's probably going to be pricey. That's something to consider. What's your favorite Wizard of Oz coffee table book from your collection? Comment down below. And if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. New videos are posted every two weeks. And if that doesn't satisfy your appetite for Oz, follow the link in the description to ozclub.org and join the International Wizard of Oz Club. Until next time, bye y'all.